Hi Gemini, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please leave a like, subscribe, leave me a comment. It helps the channel grow and it helps get the messages out there. Uh, this reading will be a general read for you and it will be for the month of July 2022, Gemini. All right, we're going to be opening up with me. I'm going to be doing some intuitive writing and how that works is, is I've already cleansed and meditated on your energy and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to intuitively intuitively allow spirit to guide me with um, writing and it's more like scribbling actually but it is a really wonderful way to allow the unconscious to connect with spirit and um, allow them to communicate that way so we'll do that we'll start with that and then we'll get into the tarot okay so all I'm gonna do and ask of you Gemini is just to take some nice deep breaths with me here and uh, release it helps to um, connect our energies all right all right, spirit, let us begin. Okay, Gemini, let's see. Show me clearly, spirit. Let us begin. All right. Uh, I'm feeling right now that there is something circular. There's a cycle. There's a cycle that is changing for you. Something is changing here. Um, uh, it is a good one though, because I just got the sun. The sun. I'm feeling like the sun energy. Um, explosive, explosive, but in a positive way, expanding, growing. I'm feeling like there's flowers. Um, there's lots of flowers. And it's like this abundance. It's like whatever you have been working on, Gemini, it feels like there's seeds that you've planted in some, in some realm. Uh, and it is feeling very much like they are starting to grow, as if a new cycle is beginning for you. As if you are starting to see the little bits of flowers coming out of the ground after you know, a time of putting the energy in, watering it, making sure it gets enough sun. Uh, it just, it feels quite beautiful here. Now, obviously this could be about a relationship um, or it could be career. Let's just see what else they're giving me here. And my eyes are closed, so. It's gonna bring you a lot of wealth. There's a, it's listen, uh, Gemini. There is a new cycle coming for you, and it feels like it has taken you a long time to get here. Continue, spirit, and now the focus is on the focus is on this new adventure, this new beginning for you. Something is growing. Something is really growing. Like I'm seeing apples on trees, which sounds crazy, um, but I am. So perhaps you are a person that grows apples. Perhaps you got a business that you're trying to get off the ground. But it could also just mean, you know, the harvest is coming now. The apples are luscious. They're red and they are everywhere on this tree. And they're sweet and they're abundant. Um, and so I feel spirit is saying that this is going to be a very abundant time for you. This new cycle that is beginning. Wow. Okay. Energy is leaving here. Okay. And they're, uh, they're giving me this, this letter. It's an S, but I hear Sam, 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 as in name Sam. Sam, 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 Sam. I'm going to leave it there because I'm not getting it anymore. Okay, let me put my pen down. I'm going to open my eyes. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> I feel like this is an apple. There's an apple and it's, 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 
Wow. It's like there's a, you can see the cycle. You can see the circle. It's a new cycle is beginning, but I'm also seeing there is this apple and that is a stem. The stem is coming up. It is harvest time for you now. There is much growth happening for you, Gemini. A lot of wonderful things coming towards you now. Okay, let us get into the tarot and see how this all fits together. Beautiful. Abundance. The sun is going to be shining on you. And obviously not all of you are growing fruit. I feel like that is more of a analogy that Spirit is wanting you to know that what you have been putting your work in, your efforts in, it is bringing you harvest. All right. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. We are ready. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. Celebration. Happiness. This is happy home, happy family card. For some of you, this could even be saying, this could even be a ring here um, because there's definitely the circle energy, the cycle energy. But as we all know, when we get an engagement, marriage, it is represented by the ring, the eternal ring that goes around, right? Um, so for some of you, this could be that you have been in a relationship that has been going quite well and you put all the effort in and now it is you're at that ripening time where you may be taking the next step to deepening the connection, deepening the bond, deepening the commitment, because four of wands can be that. Beautiful energy here. Um, however this is relating for you, it is positive and it is a lot of healthy growth. Okay, beautiful. Let us see. Five of swords. Nine of wands, determination. Ten of swords, this is that cycle. It's closing out. The Fool, here's that new cycle. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and we'll stop there for a moment. And we'll get into this now. The cycle is over. This, this past cycle, I feel like you, Gemini, have been in this cycle of um, almost like famine or feast. Finance is probably not being the best. There's been a lot of stress. There's been a lot of energy where I feel like you've been trying and trying and trying to make things grow and expand and you have gotten quite tired and it has caused a lot of um, probably anxiety and sleepless nights and stress, you know, um, really wondering would it ever come to fruition? Would that seed ever grow? Would the harvest ever be what you had wanted? The answer is yes, Gemini, yes. It has taken a long time, but it is happening. Nine of Wands, your determination to stay focused, your determination to keep putting the energy into it, it is paying off in dividends. Um, and again, let's just go back. They want me to go back to the marriage part. That is only going to be for a few of you. I really feel the Four of Wands is this time of abundance that you will be celebrating. Um, this new cycle is going to be one full of fruition, of fruit, of sweet, gorgeous, yummy apples. <laughs> you know, um, success, abundance, harvest, happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of celebrating because there's been times where it has been very sparse and there's been times where you've wondered is it ever going to grow is this ever going to succeed it is 100 percent there's probably been times in your mind where you've almost made yourself leave it behind walk away because you have been unsure of whether this was actually going to be what you wanted it to be but it is that old cycle is closing out. The cycle that they had me scribble, it's closing out. The new cycle begins, the fool. That, that new start, Gemini, a brand new way. The sun is going to be shining on you, and you are going to be getting your just rewards here. Uh, she is holding what looks like a kite, a little kite, but it also is feeling to me more of a gem, a gemstone. And it's like now you're, I'm trying to calm my energy down because it's quite rapid with the intuitive um, interpretation, scribbling here. It's like 
you have held the diamond in your hand all this time. And at times you have thought about setting it down to go in a different way because you haven't, you've held the coal in your hand for a, quite a long time. And you've thought about setting it down because it hasn't turned to a diamond, but it is now. That cycle of, of sparseness um, is ending. And you are actually going to have a lot of wonderful things coming towards you now where you're going to be able to celebrate, where you're going to actually be able to show your friends, your family, the people that you love good times. You're going to be able to help alleviate their stresses. You're going to be very clear in your mind. This is your energy, Gemini, Queen of Swords, very clear. You know exactly the direction you want to head in and you're not going to hesitate to head out into it. You're also not going to allow your mind to second guess you anymore. She is looking over at the Seven, so seven of Swords. I feel like you are really leaving a time of troubled water behind to move on to this new journey that is going to offer you a whole lot of more um, just wonderful things coming your way. The abundance is coming. Let us continue. It has taken a lot. It's been hard. It has been um, sometimes probably has almost done you in because of the Ten of Swords showing up in the reading. But you never quit, did you, Gemini? You kept going, and now you are about to be rewarded. Underneath the Four of Pentacles, or Four of Wands, sorry, is the Knight of Pentacles. It has taken a long time. This has taken a long time for you to actually begin to see your harvest, but it is now coming. Okay, let us continue. Really lovely energy here. What else, Spirit, for Gemini? Ah, they want me to say, be mindful. Be mindful of those that may come towards you when you start receiving this success, this abundance. There may be people lying in wait. Um, and if this resonates, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Don't allow just anyone to pick your apples. Hmm, that's a strange analogy, but that's what they... That's what they just said. So don't allow anyone else to pick your, only be very conscious with who you share your apples with. Apples meaning abundance. What else, spirit? Five of Pentacles. Uh-huh, exactly. Those people, there's gonna be people here that are gonna wanna take your apples from you. And I'm gonna keep using the word apples because it could be different for all of you. It could be like some of you are really going to be bringing in a lot of money. Some of you guys are just going to be so moving forward in a lot of ways, even emotionally feeling really great and clear in your mind that you're going to be celebrating and people are going to perhaps come out of the wood and say, you know, hey, Gemini, can I have some of your apples? Um, so just be mindful of that because I really feel spirit wants you to not get taken advantage of because obviously there is a lot coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot. Wow. Awesome. Three of Cups. Celebration. <clears throat> there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you are receiving all that you have wanted, all that you have worked so hard for here. Everything that you put in to this, you are now getting it. Ten of Pentacles is everything. It's having enough money. It's having enough resources. It's having enough to take care of your friends, your family, all of that. Um, and it's coming in quick because we have the chariot here. And that is a cancer card. Might be dealing with cancer. Um, Three of Cups is by the side. Celebration with those that are closest to you, that you know that you can trust and that you know that you can rely on. Five of Pentacles could be indicating here as well that after the drought, after the drought, it is no longer, you're not going to be in drought anymore. Gemini, you are going to be on this new journey of um, just expansion in the most beautiful way. Money coming towards you, being very grounded without being the pentacles, feeling very secure, confident, and leaving all of that drought in the past. Just again, be mindful of those who may be around you that might want to pick your apples, okay? Pretty interesting um, statement that they're giving me on that. 
Let's see if they want anything else to come out. This is beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. That is that beautiful apple tree full of wonderful harvest that you can pick. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, for Gemini? This is exciting. Okay. Strength. Use that beautiful strength. You're going to need to be strong here because when people come out and they say, could you give me a loan? Could you give me a little money? I'm, you know, I'm struggling. It's not the easiest thing to say no, Gemini, and you have a huge heart. But Spirit is saying, remember to use your strength. Be very discerning of where you share your abundance and with whom, right? You really want to be aware of that because you don't want anyone taking advantage of you. You've worked hard for this success and you deserve it. So be very mindful with who you are going to share it with. But let us just take one further look at this. This is coming to you. The harvest. No more having to worry. No more having to struggle. Just being absolutely blessed. And happy times. Okay, I'm going to close this reading off for you, Gemini. I'm going to get you a pearl of wisdom. This is very exciting. Uh, it is feeling very much like a change is afoot. Okay, let's get one card, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Beautiful. One card, show me clearly. Okay, thank you. Change for the future. There is that cycle. The cycle of drought is over and the new cycle of abundance is upon you. It says, stand firm, challenge past events in your life. The belief you need to work hard to achieve is no longer relevant. Let go and you will be rewarded in a most unexpected way. Beautiful. And it says, I am strong. That is the affirmation. This is what's happening for you, Gemini. Big changes are coming. And they're big, beautiful changes. And, you know, it's not about you growing an apple tree. That is just a reference that Spirit is giving me. That that cycle of poverty is over. And this new cycle of wealth, love, success, joy is coming towards you now. So I would get ready for it. I would like to see what's on the bottom. Truth. Beautiful. It is all working out truth look at that sword the truth is happening now it everything is coming to full circle it says every situation in life can be seen from many points of view the truth is the answer which gives you peace of mind you are going to no longer feel stuck stagnant without you're not it's all changing now so get ready beautiful. I love this reading. I hope it helped in some way, Gemini. Thank you again for being here and have a wonderful month. We'll see you next time. Love and